guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day eight of the cracking advent calendar and today we're actually going to be cracking so i've got here the same ammonite species as yesterday so this is a harposerous ammonite we've got a nice sea worn keel just like the previous rock but we're going to try and crack this one out now this one might di misbehave quite significantly because unfortunately we've got a lot of matrix on one side and then just the fossil on the other side. So the way it's kind of worn could mean it might fracture along the fossil, but it's a risk we're gonna take. So we're gonna whip out the hammer and chisel and see how this one comes out. Let's get cracking. This is the rock in question. Now you can see there is something peeking out the top of this boulder and it is definitely something interesting. So we have the whole keel of an outer whirl of a harposerous ammonite. And look at the detail on that. So you can actually see the ribbing all along this outer whirl. However, there is a lot of matrix on the front of this. So this ammonite is all down the back of this piece. So I'm gonna hopefully split it, but there is a chance that this is not gonna split nicely. And this fossil also is worn on one side. So the underside of this ammonite isn't good. So we want to just reveal what all this matrix is stuck onto. So this might be a very difficult task, but I'm gonna just see how it behaves, because you never know. Some fossils like to come out of a rock and some don't. So we're just gonna give it our best crack. First things first, safety goggles and gloves, especially because this one is hammer and chisel, so you just never know what the rock's gonna do. I think this piece is just that outer whirl that came out in two pieces. Um, it came out beautifully, but the rest of the ammonite just doesn't seem to be all there, especially the center and the rest of the outer whirl just kind of disappears. It's very kind of weathered. So I think that's the best we're gonna get out of it, unfortunately. So this is what we're left with. So this is the cast of the fossil itself. So we can see it had a lovely large outer whirl, but then the center was very difficult to kind of make anything out of. And we can actually see that this outer whirl goes into pretty much nothing over here. And also around here, you can see it finishes off. So I don't think we're dealing with a complete ammonite here. Um, so I've decided to leave it there. So you can see the carnage on the board here, but we did actually get two quite nice pieces of the outer whirl. So this didn't come out too badly. So this was what was exposed on the top of the rock. So you were looking at initially this top bit of the keel here. And so this is what else was inside the rock. So you can see there was quite a lot more and the ribbing is really beautiful on it. Look at that. So not bad, but not perfect. Obviously you always hope that you're gonna split the rock and it's gonna be a perfect ammonite, but you never know if you're dealing with a whole ammonite or just a fragment. If I turn it over, you can see that this side of the ammonite is very different to the upper side. So actually that's a lie. So this is the top side. So what would have happened is it would have fell to the seafloor like this. This side would have got protected and preserved. And this side would have got like all kind of weathered and worn away. 
which is why you get one side that's nice and one side that got eroded. So it's always a mystery what you're going to find inside a rock and this one unfortunately wasn't as complete as I was hoping for but it's still very beautiful nonetheless even if it is only the outer well. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and cracking open this rock. Please like and subscribe if you did and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.